Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another episode on the BMW 5 Series. So as you can see around me, we've got plenty of parts um, so we can make a start on trying to get this thing repaired and back together. I've got uh, another water pump so we can look at getting that on, getting some coolant in it and giving it a bit more of a run. I've managed to get the majority of the front crash bar with quite a lot of the trims and bits and pieces included. I've got hold of one of the headlights, um, a bumper and some other bits and pieces. So I've still got some parts coming through so we can look at getting these on and then hopefully we can get the more bits through and then go from there. Just take that headlight surround out the way. What I'm gonna do is take this off as well because this is all bent. So I'll look at removing that and then I can get to the water pump. I can also get to these um, bolts for the cross member here as well. So I'll take those out, the same on the other side and then I can slide all of that uh, front panel in, all in one go. So that's that just out of the way. And then this water pump is just held on in a rubber housing by the looks of things. So you just push that out like that. As you can see, that's where it's all snapped off there. So i just got to undo these couple of tiny little Torx bits which hold this on, but I'll take this out of the way first. And that gives me access just to these bolts here. I'll just take that 10 mil bolt out there that give me access to those three that hold that on. Pop that off there. And uh, I'm just going to undo this one as well, take that off out of the way. Okay, so that's that just pulled out of there. I've just got a little Torx bit in here that I need to get out. So just pop the bonnet lock up out the way. Take that off out the way. So we've just taken that bit off, gives us a bit more access into there. Just at doing the same side, uh, same on this side. Just tuck that out of the way there for the minute. So I've just had to change set because uh, it started raining outside. So I've just pulled it into the front of here um, so we can carry on with what we were doing. So we've got the crash bar or the the little end can off that side. We just carry on, get this one off, um, and then we can look at fitting the whole sort of front assembly that I've got. Some of the bits I might need to reuse. Hopefully most of the bits are on this piece that I've bought. So we just carry on getting this offside bonnet lock out. They're a bit of a fiddle. You've just got to wiggle them around a bit just to get them to come out. 
that's it. Just untucking that one out. So we've then got that one out. Go away, put that to one side. Uh, chuck that over here. That's it. There's just a few pieces that sort of need locating all at once. Just making sure we're not catching anything or trapping anything. Tapping that finally home with a rubber mallet there. And we'll just get some of the bolts in. that one started. Let's see if we can get the other two started while we're here. That's those ones. That's that side. That's that side. Just wound those down just gently. I'm going to do them up by hand. The same for the other side. So just to give you a bit of a closer idea, we've taken that one out and done that one back up. And then it was these three up here so we can now look at popping that water pump back in and then it was the same bolt assembly for the other side of the car as well. So, you can now see that's a bit more of a front end. So, just those there. And again, that bolt down there. So we've just fitted the water pump back on, bent that bracket back round a little bit just to get it to fit properly. I'm just gonna pop some coolant in it. So I'll just start that up off camera and just bleed that through. So I'll get on with that now.
So what I'm doing now is just transferring the stuff over from the old headlight into the new one. Or into the new one we've got for the car anyway. So the bulb's in and plugged in and now I'm just putting the backing cover on. Modules that goes on, just gently wiggle that into place. indicator bulb here you should just pop in like that and turn this headlight mount here which just screws on just like that over we've just got the two daytime running lights here so I'm just going to put a bit of sealant as there was on the old one just in just in here where the daytime running bit is so I'll do that pop those in So as you can see, I've been working away on the front here um, and what I've managed to do is get all the wiring loom tucked in up in place here. So I've plugged that into the horns, um, into this motor here, which actuates these flaps for the cooling. Um, well, it just blows air onto the radiator, so it improves the cooling side of stuff. Um, I've just rested the headlights in here as well because the near side one, we've put the modules all in there now. The same with the off side. And on the near side, one of the tabs we've got is broken off. So I need to get a tab repair kit for that one. So I've left that loose at the moment. And also the main headlight connection on that headlight, the plastic sort of outer surround is sort of damaged. So I'm going to replace that because I don't want any water getting in there. And I don't want the clip to come undone while it's all or when it's all back in place. So that's all popped in at the moment. We've got the offside in. Um, I have had the vehicle running. The battery is... Uh, pretty knackered on this so I am going to have to get another battery for it so we've got the jump pack on there as I say we've had it running for a little while we managed to get the headlights to turn on and so on and the upper sort of running lights here as well but I can't seem to get the halo lights to turn on um, and on the dashboard there seems to be a uh, I think it's an adaptive running light fault and also it's just saying that the daytime running lights also got a fault as well so what I'm going to do now is plug the car in have a look at some of the diagnostic codes so we can jump in have a look at that um, run the system do a full system scan on it and then see what comes up and that might give us an idea as to what's going on with the headlights so I was just doing a system scan on the vehicle itself um, my diagnostic machine's not new enough for this vehicle so I've gone in as a 2012 which is the newest I can go in as um, it looks like there's some conflict between the engine here with the amber warning but there are plenty of faults in the system there's still quite a lot of stuff that I haven't got on um, uh, plugged in so I was just looking to see what some of these codes are just in relation to things like the front headlights because I want to try and get those working properly so I can go in and have a look at some of this stuff so as you can see the, the parking system 
there's a fault there, which I haven't got any of the parking sensors connected in the front, so that makes sense. So what I probably will do is look to erase all of these codes down and then just see what comes back. So you can just click on that. So it won't actually let us erase some of those, so it might be that we have to go in directly and look at erasing them. So we just go into the into each system itself and see if they erase. So those ones in the climate control have now erased because you can see there's no fault codes there. So we'll just work our way through the systems see what else we've got we've got an old over voltage on the gear selector which is probably to do with where we've had the battery on and off and the battery charges on it so that's now gone away yeah so I'll just work through the rest of them raise these down and see how I get on quite a lot of them are voltage related as I say it's just where the car's got a, a battery that probably wants replacing so I'll work my way through these now and then see what we're left with. So we've now put the scanner on the car and run through all the codes. Uh, I've managed to delete quite a few of the codes on there, but as you can imagine, where I've still got quite a lot of this unplugged, the parking sensors, the pedestrian protection, which runs in this um, on the front of this crash bar within the sort of foam support that sits on the front here. Um, and the bumper then sits on over that. So those codes we weren't able to erase and we've also still got some permanent codes for the headlights in relation to what's called the TMS or TMC module I think so I'm going to have to go away and do a bit of digging on that and see is it because I've replaced the actual headlights um, I know that the modules were from this car so yeah I just need to do a bit more work and digging on that so what I'm going to do next is offer up the front bumper um, just check that that fits and then um, we can start looking at potentially getting the bits for the front bumper. As I say, like the parking sensors, um, the towing eye covers, headlight washer bits and pieces and all of that, all of the grills, fog lights and so on. But I don't want to go too much further with that and getting those bits sorted if some of this for some reason doesn't fit. So I'm going to crack on with that now. And uh, yeah, you should see it with the front bumper on in a second and then hopefully starting to look a bit more like a car. So just looking at this, it does look as if this lower crash bar here um, is potentially in the way. I don't know if there's a different type for this one where maybe it sweeps down a bit where these bumper um, sort of flares are on the bottom of the M Sport one. Um, this front crash piece that I've got, maybe that this is off a, a different model like the SE model or something. So it just looks as if it's butting on there, which is pushing that up. So. I might need to just have a look online, see if there are some different options for that. So. Have a bit more of a look at that and take that out of the way. Let me just grab the camera to give you guys a closer look. So as you can see, that lower crash bar there, or lower brace, is sort of dead straight. And I wonder if, where this is the M Sport type, whether it just, where those fog lights sit just in here, whether that little kick down there, it needs a, a different style lower crash bracing. But I'll also just show you what we've done with the loom. So we've tucked all of that in. We've put the washer, the headlight washer tubing in as well. So that's all back in. 
We've got the air temperature sensor, which is just tucked up in this duct in just in there. So that's all plugged in. We've tested the horns, they're all working, which is great. So I'm going to leave it there today, guys. We've managed to get quite far in getting the headlights and the front crash bar and bits and pieces on there. So in the next episode, what we'll look at doing is seeing if we need to replace that bar for a different type. We can look at mocking up the front bumper, checking to make sure that that fits. Hopefully the bonnet will have turned up by then so I can get the bonnet on there, get that sorted and mocked up about roughly where that's going to go. We can look at adding some of the other wiring on to these uh, additional sensors that we've got for things like the pedestrian protection, the um, front parking sensors as well. So if you've enjoyed today's episode, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you on the next one.